So this video is about trying to make a detachable cable for the Vive 3-in-1 cable. So the idea is one of to detach all of this, you know, lovely three meter worth of cable into something the size of basically this. And um, I've had a lot of trouble being able to do this because I haven't been able to find an HDMI cable that will actually fit inside the headset. And I've actually now found one, which is actually the Lindy Chromo Slim um, HDMI cable. It's very shiny, it's also very gold. I don't think that affects the quality of the picture in any way, which it did, but you know, it is very shiny. Um, and also costs quite a lot of money for what it is in terms of being an HDMI cable. However, what makes it suitable for um, the Vive is that it actually managed to fit inside it, as we can see here. With the lid closed, and you don't need a 90 degree adapter to do it. And so this is something that I've been um, tried out many times with lots of different HDMI cables and none of them work, but I eventually managed to find one of these that actually now fits inside the Vive. Um, so obviously I have just a very cheap HDMI coupler off of Amazon, which will then couple this guy to the rest of the three in one cable. Um, this looks a bit odd at the moment because I still haven't found a power adapter yet. So this is, I think, a 1.3 millimeter power adapter. Um, this will be the next part of um, my setup to actually find a way of extending um, the power adapter. So that way I can then run a very small cable into here and then basically then I can attach a 3-1 cable to that. Um, at the moment, this is looking a bit odd because this is actually a one meter cable when I would want to go out and buy a half a meter. So if you're looking at this video, buy a half meter Chromo HDMI cable. Um, incidentally, I have actually tried um, different slim adapters and none of them work. It's only this particular brand I've had any success with. And that's because I don't know how well you can see this. And actually that's kind of the point is that if you look around the edge of the um, cable here, by the connector you see there's almost no casing um, and also there's no it kind of traces around the edge so if you see here um, it follows the pattern of the connector it's basically tapered in there's no um, you know excess casing and this is important because a lot of these connectors or these slim adapters do have quite a bit of casing and the reason why I mention that is because of this guy now this guy is an actual um, legit HDMI cable from um, that actually came with the Vive. Because I thought, well, hang on a minute, if I could just get hold of a, an official HDMI cable that you know um, you can get for the Vive, like you can for you know the USB extension. So at the moment, this guy is an official um, USB extension that actually you can buy for the Vive. So I thought, well, maybe you can get one for, H for um, HDMI. And I thought, well, hang on a minute, this is the one that comes with Linkbox. Surely this will work. This will go inside, I just need a coupler for it. So this is the HDMI cable that came with, that obviously fits into the Vive normally. And I thought, yeah, great. I mean, these are these are pretty the same. You know, they look that they're kind of the same length, um, same width, and this doesn't work. This, this guy will not fit inside your Vive, even though it is an official Vive accessory. Um, again, this is one that I think comes with the link box, and it doesn't work. So that was really disappointing. So if you kind of think like me, hey look, I've got a spare HDMI cable, I can just put it in there with a, with a coupler. No, it won't. Um, so just to show you the difference between why this guy works you can see how much more casing there's around um this guy and this is and actually normally this would be quite a slim hdmi connector and if you're trying to find you know any old cheap one but you can see how much smaller this hdmi connector even is so because of how short this is you don't need any sort of 90 degree angle adapter or anything to get it out the vive um, as you can see here it totally works and um, I'm actually quite pleased with it so far. So at the moment, this isn't a finished modification. Um, I still need to find a power lead. 
So when I get it all working, I'll post a new video and show it all detaching, I guess, uh, which would be very exciting. Um, bearing in mind, even though you've got another meter or so of HDMI cable, it works absolutely fine. Um, you know, there's no performance problems, there's no problems connecting. Um, you know, if you get poor quality HDMI cables that go over a certain length, you get problems. Um, I think that's because the Vive Hub is, has some sort of active repeater in it. So don't worry about, you know, having lots and lots of um, HDMI cable. But I'm really pleased with how it's working. So the idea is that, you know, it will only go to about this far, and you then attach 3 one cable from here, which means you'll be able to basically just, you know, store your Vive. Um, and if it's easier to store, it means you're going to use it more often because you don't have to deal with trying to, like, you know, hide 3 meters worth of cable. So I'll do an update when I get it all working, found a power supply that works. Um, anyone knows of a half or so meter of, you know, 1.3 millimeter DC extension cable or where I can buy one, let me know in the comments. Um, what I'll probably end up trying is an adapter to, uh, you know, to bring the adapter size up to a 2 mil and then bring it back down again to a 1.3 and see if that works. And that's quite a cheap modification. Bearing in mind, um, I only suggest doing this, this detachable cable modification as it were. Um, if you're someone who really is annoyed by this, because it is quite pricey just because of the price of the HMI cable itself. So I think when you add up the costs of the USB extension um, and the HDMI extension and obviously however much the, the power one, you might as well buy a whole new 3-in-1 cable. So it's not going to be that cheap to do. Um, but I thought I'd mention this video because obviously keep buying, having to keep buying HDMI cables which don't fit will rack up quite a lot of money, but now you won't have to because I found one that works. Yay. And it is so shiny. Look, look how shiny that is. That was definitely worth the money otherwise. See, look. Wow. Um, of course it's not. It makes absolutely no difference, but, you know, it's nice to look at. And um, I hope this video will... If anyone's been wondering how to um, detach your cable, well, this is how you're going to do it. So... Again, a video will be out soon once I figure out how to do the power.